Hello, Sharp friends. Today I'm going to show you how to bid a job in less than 10 minutes. We've all been in a situation where we need to get something out quick. We need to actually bid it. We need to create a budget. We could do that quickly, effectively, and efficiently with a massive amount of detail. So everything in our system is in a database. I'm on our current Sharp Soft Estimator Cloud version, full functioning, uh, just hosted in the cloud. Allows you the flexibility to be traveling anywhere you want to be uh, and currently use the system um, with a massive amount of speed. So I'm going to go into our jobs menu, hit the plus sign, starting a new job. So the new job, I'll just go 0521-001. I could put anything I want, alphanumeric um, or numeric. I'll say it's uh, the 14th bid date. I will say it is going to be 2.30 p.m. This will be the Pine Street sewer project so at this point we could actually start bidding the job that's less than two seconds probably if I wasn't talking to get a job set up but I'll add a little bit more information I want to put the the a job type in there which allows us to help us sort this later on the owner and the agency everything is in the database I click on the the magnifying glass, I could add bid location, project number. If there's multiple estimators in your company, you can assign an estimator. If there's multiple offices, you can sign an office. Now I'll go job status and I'll click it just to be bidding and I'll hit OK. We could do bid bond request. We can do all of those other information, informational type things. I got to activate the job, getting ahead of myself. We will now go to our bid items. This is where we want to enter information. This is what the owners or the agencies are going to start to look for. So what I want to do is I want to insert from the item master. I want to scroll down and I'm just going to pick a couple random items that I may want to put into this job. Uh, for example, we, talk, we talked it being a sewer job. So there's my 10 inch sewer, 48 inch manhole, uh, along with traffic control, clear and grub. Once I select those, Notice now it's bringing in all of that information from before. Now I want to do is I want to group these items up so I can create a subtotal. I'm going to pick mobilization for the first one. Again, fully customizable to anything you want. So there's mobilization. And then I could pick from the group and grab the sewer item. Or I can customize that to something else that I want. I'll leave it as the sewer item. So I'll drag and drop these down. Notice now the moment that I drag and drop those down, I have a subtotal for those particular items. So now there's my mobilization. If I want to renumber these item codes, I quickly go to the renumber item codes. I want to be within the group and I want to be a fixed alpha lead. And so I will just put M dash and then what I want here is an O or zero we'll go two spaces within the group there it is now I'm I want to redo these numbers again full flexibility on how you want I'll just do these as numbers within the group O one two and then now these are just going to be O one and O two let's just say for an example that this particular job has 8500 feet of pipe. Notice now I double click in here and everything has been prorated into that number. We have traffic control as an item so watch I'll just go here and now I'll toggle the what if it removes that cost from my item. There's my manholes. Uh, if I went through this let's just say we have uh, 30, 35 manholes and now I've adjusted those uh, there. Let's say for the mobilization, if I wanted to, I'll double click in here. So again, these are items that I've built at one time. Now what I want to put in here, I want to go three. Notice it changes all my production. I could quickly shift this to days or I can shift that um, there. It shows my production rate. I want to go to my clearing and grub. And in these particular items, let's just say this salt cut. I want this to be uh, 16,000 feet. And we want to have our laborers probably going to be with them for five days. I can quickly edit or change things that are in my job without any problem. 
the traffic control I'll leave where it's at my sewer items now I want to drive into this item here these materials here I'm gonna add what is called our trench profiler I'll come in here I'll pull in from insert trench profile from the master it's a wet utility trench uh, I want the sewer trench and then I want a regular trench and so we're gonna go with call it here the 10 inch deep trench I select that Notice now it will bring in a new trench detail. Now when I get in there, what I want to do, that was me clicking the button too fast, I apologize. So notice now I want to change this length to 8,500 feet. That's what we now have in our current bid item. All of the quantities automatically change. Now if I go in here to my, my bedding material, I want to link this to a material. So I click on this or I want to link it to our item, I'm sorry. I go into my 10 inch material, notice there's my materials, and there's my crush rock, I link it to that. I'll hit okay. The native material I don't want to link. I'll go here, there's my AB, I want to find that item again. I could link to multiple different items if that's what I want to do. Click on the material, there's my class two AB, I select it, hit okay. Now I'm okay, and I'll just leave the asphalt I don't think I have asphalt in the item so it's not going to bring it up for me to oh I do half inch hot mix there we go we'll select it in and now I hit OK now notice as I grab this here my quantities change so you see those real-time quantities if I grab this and I need a bigger T trench I grab this here it's 1671 I hit OK. Now notice inside my bid, those items are now, there's that 1671 from the asphalt. It's now real time. So I come in and let's just say I want to haul 2,900 ton here and 2,640. All types of flexibility here, but if I want to change the price of this material, I could just change the price. 7.75. It will then change it. I'll add it to the job, update that. Now, if I bring this material in, it will then keep track of that. So there's real-time data that allows you to have access all the time. So there's my sewer main, the, my, my sewer main with, with the trench profiler that I add. In this, here's my, my trench paving item. So I have a crew that's in that area. If I want to go to my excavation rather quickly, I'll come into here and notice now I have this set at 380 feet. If I think I can only get 200 feet, it will automatically adjust my, my data to that. We do have the ability, I gotta try to go in 10 minutes, so you could do a hauling calculation that's built into the program if that's what you wanna do. Set the crew dates based on that. So there's our job, again, existing items. I now wanna go to, go to my markup. We have the ability right through here through the load markups we can add here let's just say if I want to just make twenty thousand dollars on my material I, I put that there now I want to load a markup it will delete all of those other markups in there and then I could add other individual markups if I want them and then put an overall markup two percent from there if this is a budget job we could put a higher markup on there just to make sure that we're covered where we're at now I go to my rounding sheet and this if this is a job that I want to bid let's just say I want to put a little bit more money into my mobilization I lock that item and now I go to my actions and what I want to do is I want to reset the rounding sheet and then I want to go actions auto balance so notice what I've done I've taken the money out of some of my other items and pushed it into my mobilization in this area here um, we could make this number 20,000 bucks so now I'm done with the job I want to now run into my reports hit report tree proposal and there's many different options in the proposal as well as all kinds of reports that you can get out that notice there's my mobilization clearing grub traffic control 10 inch sewer 48 inch sewer main we bid a million dollar job in less than 10 minutes so if you're struggling with the way that you bid your current projects SharpSoft will help you bid efficiently, effectively, fast, with a massive amount of detail.
We thank you very much. Have a great day.